Welcome to iLecture Online, and here are some examples of how to do, of how to solve equations containing radicals. And we're going to start out with some simple examples, and then we'll move on to some more complex examples. All right, starting with these, uh, notice that uh, we have an equation. We have a left side, a right side, an equal sign that constitutes an equation, but there's also a radical sign in there. So in order to solve these equations for x, we first have to get rid of the radicals. Well, if we can separate the radicals on one side from things that are not radical on the other side, then all you have to do is simply square both sides to get rid of the radicals. In this case, we're going to square the left side and we're going to square the right side. If we square the, the left side, we, have, we end up with 2x minus 5 because the square cancels out the radical. On the right side, 1 squared is simply 1. And then this becomes a linear equation which is very easily solved. We'll move the minus 5 to the other side. Of course, when we do that, the negative sign changes to a positive sign. And then we end up with 2x is equal to 6. Divide both sides by the coefficient in front of x, which is 2. And so we get x equals to 3. And that appears to be the solution. Now, before you know for sure that's the solution, it's always a good idea to plug the value that you have for the solution back in the original equation to make sure that this does not uh, cause any problems. So we had, so we're going to do a check. So we had the equation, the square root of 2x minus 5 is equal to 1. We plug in 3 for x, so we have the square root of 2 times 3 minus 5 equals to 1, or the square root of 6 minus 5 equals 1, or the square root of 1 equals 1, which of course is correct. Now what you're usually looking for is, sometimes when you plug the solution back into the radical, you may end up with a number underneath the radical that's less than 1, or less than 0 I should say, and of course you cannot take the square root of something less than 0, and that means that the solution that you found is not correct, it doesn't count, you can't use it. But in this case, everything looks good, solution is x equals 3. So let's move on to our next example. Again, we have the radical separated from all the other terms that don't have a radical. We can then square both sides. So we're going to square the left side, x squared minus 1 when it's squared equals the right side squared. When we square this, the radical disappears. So we have x squared minus 1 equals 1. Move the negative 1 over, we have x squared is equal to 1 plus 1, which is 2. And now we take the square root of both sides, so we can say that x is equal to plus and minus the square root of 2. All right, now we have two possible solutions. We know that x can equal the square root of 2, or x can equal negative the square root of 2. And so if we plug those back in the original equation, do we, um, do we find that uh, those two solutions are okay? Okay, for use. So, the square root of, let's try our first possibility, x equal to positive square root of 2, so we have the square root of 2 quantity squared. That's, of course, a check. We want to make sure that we can, we have valid solutions here. Uh, minus 1 is equal to 1. The square root of 2 squared, that's simply 2, so we have the square root of 2 minus 1 equals 1. Subtract that to get the square root of 1 equals 1, and sure enough, that works. There's no problems there. And then I think you can see that if you plug in the negative answer, the square root of negative the square root of 2 quantity squared, minus 1 equals 1, that's another check. Notice since it's squared, the negative will be negated, so we get the square root of 2 minus 1 equals 1, or the square root of 1 equals 1, and that also checks out. So you can see that in both cases, both of these answers are admissible, so we found the two answers for that particular equation. And that's how you do these simple types examples. Now let's move on to something that's a little bit more complex. 